Seas cover around 70% of planet Earth and give humanity food to eat and oxygen to breathe. But from the Atlantic to the Arctic, the world's oceans are under threat due to overfishing, pollution and climate change. Scientists and conservationists are in Abu Dhabi for the World Ocean Summit this week to discuss ways to keep the oceans healthy. Every year, people generate 300 million tonnes of plastic waste. Much of it ends up in the sea, and that plastic pollution is expected to double by 2030. Overfishing is another threat to marine life. Demand for seafood is at record levels, and the UN says in a third of the world's oceans, people take more fish than habitats can regenerate. And a new study shows a rise in underwater heat waves due to climate change. That's cut the amount of sustainable fish catches by as much as 35% in some parts of the world. Amanda Leland is the executive vice president of the US-based non-profit, the Environmental Defense Fund. She told us about what needs to be done to tackle plastic pollution. Certainly the, the public uh, conversation around ocean plastics is dominating and it's really inspiring a lot of people to get involved in ocean conservation, which is excellent and desperately needed. And how I would judge progress is whether we're able to start seeing a decrease in plastics in the ocean. Plastic pollution is coming from the land um, and it is wreaking havoc on the oceans. The ocean is kind of the symptom of the larger challenge. Uh, but that doesn't mean we should let up in trying to fix the or mitigate the problem so that oceans can be healthier. We've done some science with, uh, with partners at Cornell University and elsewhere that shows that plastics are now in every corner of the world's coral reefs and that they actually provide a vector for disease transmission between coral reefs ecosystems. We can't have that. We need, we need coral reef ecosystems that are healthy especially in the context of climate change, so that they can be resilient um, and, and continue to you know, live, live on in the context of climate. 